So this approach to the test intersection here in Sandy Springs uh, is going to show the status of the uh, display even before it appears so it's round the corner and over this hill is where the real intersection is and we've set the map file for this intersection to show this display when it's about 1,800 feet, 600 meters away and this is showing the countdown timers uh, to the intersection and as we come around the corner here you'll see the timers ahead and um, the, the status is showing both red. Now the countdown timers will rest here on six seconds because it's waiting for an opposing call and that is how accurately we can do it. What we do is we'll go left here and we'll count down until we get a left arrow and uh, then can proceed through the intersection. So the uh, this is quite normal operation that we've got at least six seconds uh, until the intersection changes state. Uh, this is an actuated intersection uh, with demand from various sides. Might service that vehicle opposite us, before us. Um, it might not. As soon as this uh, starts counting down, we'll be able to uh, tell when we're going to. So three, two, one. Zero, and we have a left turn and straight through uh, and so that gave us the spat countdown time until we were uh, given a green. The green faithfully represented what was on the intersection and as soon as we move away the, um, the uh, display disappears. Alright so what we have here is a intersection that only has uh, the straight red, it's got no left turn arrows and what it indicates here that the um, countdown timer rests at uh, five or six seconds and this is the time for uh, the opposing lanes to clear so uh, when I come up here and um, get onto the loop up here it um, in fact it gave me a <laughs> it was resting and there it gave me a green straight away 